हेलो गाइस दिस इज़ वीरेंद्र सिंह एंड वेलकम बैट एट अनदर वन वीडियो ऑफ मास्टर कैम मल्टी एक्सेस ट्यूटोरियल्स एंड टूल पार्ट्स इन ए मास्टर कैम मल्टीपल नंबर ऑफ वीडियोस वी लर्न ऑन ए डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड डिफरेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट टू लर्न मास्टर कैम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूनिक एंड स्पेशल टूल पार्ट विच इज़ नोन एज अ ब्लेड एक्सपर्ट ब्लेड एक्सपर्ट इज अ मास्टर कैम मल्टी एक्सेस ऑप्शन विच यू कैन यूज with the help of if you have spe if you have special work of the blade expert kind of parts so you can take the blade expert option especially and this is one of the most unique and special operation to cut the impeller kind of profiles and these kind of blades so now we will create x and explain you about the blade expert tool path it will take two or three videos to explain and learn on each and everything because in a blade expert we have to do the multiple things we have to do the roughing then hub, the blade finish and the corner. So now I would like to show you in this video. I would like to show you the simulation files and how my material have to be removing from my part and how my work will be created. So in this video, you will watching only the simulation portion and after the next video, I will show you that how to create the tool path, the, all the parameters, all the important factors. But I am really sure that you will love to watch the simulation video for that one so we starting from start before we start to create a simulation video first i would like to show you that what with the things we will cover in the simulation the first is the roughing for the all the portion after that the finishing of my blade part after that we will see the hub finishing the bottom portion finishing and after that the corner portion which is that is available right at here that should be in a proper finish way we will cover all these things now I would like to show you and came to the simulation file. Now as you can see here, this is my simulation model. This is my stock model and from this stock, we will removing the entire material and we will show you that how the things are working and how much and what we get once we complete the, all the simulation. So first I would like to show you the cutting of the my raw material. So I just reduce my simulation and now the play. As you can see, this is the start to cut right at here. Now we are not focusing on the things like as a depth of cut, the feed, spindle speed and the finishing. We are just would like to show you how this create the shape and how the things are going to be work. I just on the operation change option and at here I just choose the color loop. It means the color will be created uh, for the each tool path. It will be the different color and in a stop condition it means once your one tool bath will be done, so it will be automatically stopped. So I just increase the speed of my tool path and now let's see. So this is the first area of roughing. It is start to cut from the upper portion to the bottom portion. It's cut the first cut. Now it's came to the second. I just increase the speed little more. So now this is going to be roughing the entire portion. It's cut between the both of these blade from the top portion. It's read the exactly stock model and it's cut according to that. So as you can see here, it's cut as it cut the first portion. It will cut the remaining all nine portions. So I just increase my speed a little high and you can see watch all these at together. So I would like to show you in a view and the multiple two views. If you are, this is are not good, I can show you in the four number of views where you can get and watch all views at a single time. So now just look at this and enjoy it. One of the best tool path the master cam ever have for the multi axis purpose. In a master cam for the impeller and blade kind of part have a very good control, a very unique tool path. You can control each and everything. And with this tool path, you can create a very beautiful part, these kind of impellers, blades, and that parts. So now as you can see, my first part is going to be almost done. The, for the all the entire portion, the roughing portion is going to be done. And now it's going to be cut my last portion of my part. And this is now done, the last part also. So as you can see here, it's done. Now again I would like to came in this one single view. Reduce my speed of my tool path and now once 
the, all the roughing should be completed we would like to start the finishing portion of my part in a finishing this will create the finishing portion it start from the upper portion to the lower portion now look at this the beauty of finishing in a finishing it start to cut from the one single blade to the after it will came and consistently going for the next blade so once your entire roughing operation should be completed after that we can go for the finishing operation so as you can see here look at the beauty of this finishing operation it's cut from the starting portion to the bottom portion in a correct way in a correct format with a very good way of cutting so now as you can see here this is my second portion or second area second tool path for this one blade expert and now I would like to came for the again four number of views and now look at the beauty of the blade expert for the finishing of my blade portion look at the tool how it's moving how much the speed of the things when it came on a machine when it's start to work on a machine the machine is moving fully 5x simultaneously with a very good motion if ever you get a chance for how it's cutting it will be really amazing for each of the my viewers so now it's going to be almost done for the all the blade portion i just increase the speed a little high so it can be done within a very less time the only two blades are remaining just look at the beauty one by one it's cutting the all blades from the first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth and ten now it's time to check and analyze all the blades how it's cut so as you can see here it's cut all the blade in a very good format and a very beautiful way it's cutting on the all the blade portion it's not going to touch this one area it's not going to touch this one area now in the next portion i would like to show you how to finish the bottom portion or this one this is known as in a technical word hub i would like to reduce the speed of my tool path and now look at the beauty it is starting to cut from the middle portion and it will going the outside just look at this finishing of my tool path the tool axis of my control there is no collision no accident with the v0 collision with the proper and smooth tool path it's cutting the entire portion of my blade what the hub area and now i would like to increase the speed little high and again back to the four number of views and look at the beauty of how my tool is going to be moving how things are going on if you want to in a blade x part now this is the method how we create the tool path first we create the roughing tool path after that we will create the tool path for the blade after that we will create the tool path for the hub and after that we will create tool path for the corner radius which is small in the size so as you can see here now my hub is almost completed at here now it's done for the final tool path and again we have to came in a one single view now my hub is also done i would like to reduce the my speed of my area tool path and now as you can see here this is now the next tool path should be finishing the corner portion of my part now look at the beauty of the corner portion so this is a last tool path to complete any these kind of parts it will use or it is using to finishing my corner of my blade area and once it completed it's uh, going to be in a very beautiful format it's only focus on the corner portion of my blade and according to the corner radius it's cutting on the entire part again i would like to came in a four number of views and now look at the beauty of this tool path if you want to see in a two view you can use these you can change the angle the direction as you want as per your requirement all the hands you have to control
So as you can see here, that was the raw material at the starting the port of when we starting the simulation. Now it's cut the, all the ports, the entire area, and now it's the total number of four tool path cut and create a complete part as per our requirement. Now again, I would like to came in a one view and look at the all the portions in a very beautiful way, in a very smooth way. If you want to uh, see in a single color, just click on a color loop and it will be closed. And as you can see here, look at the beauty of this tool path. Guys, really, it's a really amazing tool path in a master cam. Multi axis blade expert, you can have the control on each and every single parameter. And in the next video, we will start to create how you can create the tool path on this model. We will control the roughing, we will control the blade finishing, we will control the hub finishing and the remaining corner. So I hope you enjoy this simulation video. See you in the next video. And if you want to learn these videos and if you want to use these model files, please go and connect it with us on our Mastercam multi access series. Join the from your YouTube and you will get access for the all model files from the multi access. So guys keep learning, keep growing.